I will be using Node-RED on my Raspberry Pi to look at incoming MIDI signals from my Novation Launch Key 25 MIDI controller. I'll start off by adding a MIDI in node. So we're going to scroll down and eventually we'll come to MIDI in. So we'll drag this out. Now I'll double click it to be able to configure the node get into the properties of it. Change it to this one. Launch key mark 225 colon launch key mark 225 MIDI 1 20 colon 0. And I'll click done. Next we'll add a debug node. So we'll scroll back up to the top. Click and hold on the debug, and we're going to add this. Now I'm going to add this way out here, because we're going to put a few things in between. Now let's wire it together. Now we'll click Deploy. Now we'll go over to the debug messages tab click on that so now we should be able to see the debug messages now on the MIDI keyboard I'm going to press the middle C and now we'll look at the data that comes into the debug window so now I'm going to let go of middle C notice that two messages come up the first is when I press the key on the MIDI keyboard, and the second message comes up when I release the key on the keyboard. I'll do that again, only this time I'll press the D key and keep it pressed for a moment. You can see only one message comes up while I have the key pressed, and not until I release the key that the second message comes up. In each message, a pair of numbers appears. The first number represents the MIDI key that was pressed. MIDI number 60 is middle C. 62 is the D key just above middle C. The second number represents one of two things in this example. If the number is above zero, it represents how hard I press the key. If that number is zero, it means I release the key. So I'm going to clear this debug window, and then I'll press the E key three times. The first time will be as, as gently as I can. We we'll see we get a three. Now the second time I'm going to press it moderately hard, and you see we get a 43. Now this last time I'm going to press it is pretty hard. We we'll see we get a 61. I'm going to press it once more and try to press it even harder. And I got a 73. The default setting in the debug node doesn't show us all of the incoming MIDI data. I'll open the debug node and change the output from message payload to complete message object. Press done and deploy. And we'll clear out this window. I'll press middle C again and look at the data in the debug window. And release. On the first message, there's a little arrow here. So we'll click that arrow that points right to, so we can expand the output, then expand MIDI, and then expand RAW. Now we can see the three pieces of information or data that the keyboard is sending. The first number is really a combination of two things, the note on message, which we see here, as well as the MIDI channel, which right now is one. So looking at the detail of the second message, we'll do the same thing. We'll expand object, we'll expand MIDI, and expand raw. You can see the first number is 128 meaning note off, as well as channel one. 
Now that we have a better understanding of the data the keyboard is sending us, we can begin to set up a flow to react to different MIDI controller key presses. So we'll go ahead and clear this. The MIDI in node sends the full data to what it calls raw and the simplified data to the common payload. For now, I'll set up the logic in the flow to work from the data that appears in the payload. I'm going to double click the debug node so I can switch this back to message.payload. I'm going to press middle C and release. In the payload, we have two numbers. We know that the second number, when it's greater than zero, is a key press. And when the number is zero, it's a key release. We also know that the first number always tells us which key the second number is referring to. So in this case, 60 is a middle C. I'm going to pull in a switch node and place it on the wire in between the MIDI in node and the debug node. You'll notice that when I place it on top of the wire, the wire gets changed to a dashed line. And this lets me know that I'm placing this node in between these other two nodes. So when I let go, it's now in the path. In the debug window, expand the payload section. and then hover to the right of the zero. You'll see three little icons pop up. I'm going to click Copy Path. Now I'll double click the switch node to get to the properties. And in property, I'm going to erase payload and then paste. You'll see payload bracket one bracket. This represents the part of the data package that shows how hard a key was pressed or if a key was released. By checking if it is greater than the number zero, we know a key was pressed. So we're going to change this to a greater than, change this to number, and now put in a zero. And then click done. I'm gonna add another switch here and again, place it on the wire. In the debug window, by the number 60 under payload, again, I'm going to hover over the right side so that these little icons appear, and then click on Copy Path. So on this second switch node that I've added, I'll double click it, and again, delete where it says payload by property and paste in. So now we see payload bracket zero bracket. So we'll leave this to equal and then change this to number and we'll type in 60 and then done. Now I'll go ahead and click on deploy so now our flow works like this. MIDI data comes in. The first switch checks to see if the second payload element that we see right here is greater than zero. If it is, the data packet gets sent along this wire to the next node, to the switch node. The second switch node checks to see if the first data element in the payload is 60. If it is, the data packet gets sent along to the debug node. So I'll clear this debug window. And now what I'm gonna do is click any key except for the middle C. I expect that nothing is going to show up in the debug window. And as we can see, nothing is showing up. Now I'll press middle C and only one message pops up. We see only one message because we use the switch node that only passes data when the second data element in the payload is greater than zero, meaning only one key is pressed, not released. So the last thing I'll do here is to add a change node. 
and drag it onto the wire again in between the last switch and the debug node. We'll see it's dashed again, so when I drop it in place, it includes itself in the path. I'll double click this to get to the properties. And then we'll set message payload. And in two, I'm going to type in middle C was pressed. Now I'll click done. Now the debug node, we've already changed back to message.payload, so that's ready. Now I'll click deploy. Now we'll clear this debug window once again. So now when I press middle C, we can see that a message appears. Middle C was pressed. If I press any other key on the keyboard, nothing appears. So this flow only responds to middle C being pressed. That wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.